Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming back to my podcast. And hello to those people who came here for the first time. And Merry Christmas! As December twenty fourth, which I just realized an hour ago. 今日はクリスマスイブなんですよね。さっき気づいてしまいまして、何の特別なプランもなしに普通に。ね、イブを迎えようとしておりますけれども。As you can tell from my voice, I've got a frog in my throat. 英語で I have a frog in my throat というと、喉にカエルがいる。すなわち、喉がガラガラ、声がガラガラって意味なんですが。I don't know what's wrong with me because I don't have any other symptoms. Like, I have no fever or I don't cough or yeah, any other than just a, just a throat. It doesn't hurt. Hurt, you know, like hurt at all. 痛みもないんですよ、喉。ただ単に声が変っていうだけで、熱もないし、別にそんな鼻水とかね、咳もしないんですよね。なので、I've been trying to shake this off. Yeah, but it hasn't been very successful. I've taken medicine, I've been eating candies and gargling and all that, you know. But it doesn't help me at all. So hopefully I'll get better in a few days. Otherwise, I will not be able to enjoy my vacation. Not that I have any specific plans or anything. ね、もう少しで早く直さないと年末楽しめないと思っちゃいますよね。特に予定があるわけでもないんですけど、なんか何もしたくないじゃないですか。I don't even feel like going out. I want to check out those lightings outside, Christmas lightings and all that, but it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, like, it, I just can't be in the mood for it, you know? ということで、ちょっとね、あのブルーな数日なんですけれども、一応、ポッドキャスト録音しとこうと思って、このハスキーボイス、お楽しみくださいなんて、I don't really like it, but 日本語でハスキーって言うけど、英語じゃラスピーとか言いますよね。I don't like my raspy voice, I'm just trying to get over it as soon as possible. But on a positive note, I finally got my ukulele. ウクレレをやっと買いましたあのねずっと欲しかったんですウクレレがもうねずっと前からアマゾンのお買い物カゴに入ってたんですよでもポチる勇気がなかったというのもすっごく私飽き性なので買ったとしてももうなんか数日間で飽きてしまう自分が見えてて。もし飽きたとしても部屋のインテリアにしても可愛いかなとかね<笑>もうそんなふうに思ってるんですけど。But so far, I've been enjoying it. There are so many videos like on、uh, ukulele tutorials on YouTube channel. 本当たくさんのなんかウクレレ初心者用のねレッスンがいっぱいあるので、まあ、どうせなら英語のねやつを見れば趣味と英語がね一緒にあの学べるということでどな,どなたかがねツイッターでご紹介されてましたけれども本当そうなんですよね。Yeah, in this day, you know, like you can find almost any kind of tutorial videos on YouTube. So nice. すごいわかりやすいですよね。いろんな先生といいますかそのね方たちが動画で紹介してくれるのでそれを一緒に弾いてねあの昨日はね「岩前サンシャイン」を練習してました<笑>一番簡単なやつ、ね、もう面白いですよね楽器ねしたことないけどでもそういう風に学ぶと一石二鳥ですよね英語も学べるし趣味も学べる「so、it's like killing two birds with one stone」って感じでねあの皆さんもし趣味とかありましたら本当えあの YouTube の動画でねやるといいですよ。ねもうレッスン行かなくてもいいっていうね本当は行った方が楽しいかもしれないですけど。Yeah, I'm so happy、uh, with my ukulele now. Hopefully I can play and sing along with it. And then on my podcast someday in the near future. 近いうちにね弾き語りとかできたらすごい楽しそうだななんて思ってますがまずまだはねまだねまずはちょっとあの手慣らしといいますかね頑張らないといけないなというふうに感じています。Yeah, so that's what's new with me just recently. 
um, the raspy voice and the ukulele. <laughs> but yeah, ukulele is so much fun. Yeah, so I just wanted to record just a little bit today, just to let you know, or just to wish you a Merry Christmas here, I guess. But I will be back here, I'm sure, by the end of this year to just say hi, I guess. But thank you very much for tuning in today, and I really hope that you're healthy and happy and enjoy a wonderful season of the year. So, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say,